Hi, I'm Dr. Tina Payne Bryson. And I'm Dr. Dan Siegel. We are sharing with you the new release of the Yes Brain Workbook. And we love these workbooks because they allow you to go deeper, to apply concepts personally in your family, with your kids, whether it's in a book club or with a partner or a therapist or just on your own, you can go deeper into the concepts and apply them. And what are we talking about in this workbook, Dan? What are we excited to help parents cultivate? Well, you know, Tina and I were so excited to put together a view of what the science is of how the brain has these two fundamental states, and you've probably experienced them as a parent. One is when you get really reactive, you can want to fight or have this tendency to run away or flee. Sometimes even you don't know whether to fight or flee, so you freeze up. And sometimes, especially these days, you may feel totally helpless and overwhelmed, and that's what we call fainting or feigning death. Those four Fs of fighting, fleeing, freezing, or fainting are part of what's called a reactive state, which if you hear the word no really intensely, it can create any of those four Fs. So we call that the no brain state. Well, then there's another state that instead of being reactive is receptive, and it's the best way to parent. And so what Tina and I wanted to do is show you how this yes brain so that's where the book name comes from. The yes brain state is where you're receptive and open and flexible and you can connect with your child and even connect with yourself in a much fuller kind of way. So yes brain parenting is number one, where you learn which state you're in. Are you in a no brain reactive state or a yes brain receptive state? We teach you then how to move yourself from a reactivity to receptivity and then how to detect when your child, herself or himself, when they are in this reactive versus receptive state and give them the skills to move from the no brain state of reactivity to the yes brain state of receptivity where learning and love emerge. Beautiful. And what we do specifically in this book and in this workbook is to talk with you practically about how to cultivate balance, resilience, insight, and empathy in ourselves and in our children. We wish you the best as you dig deeper and apply this and cultivate it in your own lives and families. So we hope you'll have fun and you may notice that that's an acronym of BREE. So enjoy the appetizer of that wonderful cheese <laughs> and teach those skills to yourself and your kids. And thanks for being on the journey with us to help promote this kind of very empowering parenting experience for you and your family.